We in Alaska have great appreciation and support for the United States Postal Service. Uh, it is through the Universal Service that uh, folks are able to receive their medications, um, uh, their, their parcels, their letters, their bills. Uh, for many out in, in rural Alaska, bypass mail uh, really is, is their lifeline. And so when the Postmaster General last Friday uh, made the comment at a Senate hearing that uh, in an effort to, to find uh, cost-saving measures that the Alaska Bypass Mail System uh, could be impacted, it caused great concern and anxiety amongst Alaskans and certainly caught the attention of the full Alaska delegation. Uh, the, <coughs> this week, uh, Senator Sullivan, Congressman Young, and I were able to be on an extended call with the Postmaster General to discuss his comments and his intentions. It was made very, very, very clear to him the significance of bypass mail to Alaska, uh, that this is, this is a system uh, within our state uh, that is congressionally authorized and in fact actually saves the U.S. Postal Service dollars instead of being a, a drain on the Postal Service. But again, speaking to, to the really heightened priority of, of bypass mail, uh, I think it's fair to say that the Postmaster General got our message very, very clear. I think we were, we were direct, we were respectful, uh, but we really did make great efforts to ensure that he understood uh, the issue. It was made clear to us that he had not intended to single out Alaska's bypass mail system uh, and that he has given now assurances to the delegation that in an effort to make the Postal Service sustainable, he is looking at all aspects of, of how uh, mail and, and Postal Service is handled throughout the United States, uh, but that it is not his intention to, to dismantle bypass mail in Alaska. That was, that is uh, good news, it's important. It is news that the delegation will continue to ensure uh, stays intact uh, 